Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives John Boehner will resign from his leadership position and give up his seat at the end of October. It is unclear why he is quitting but one of his aides warned of prolonged leadership turmoil if he had stayed. Mr. Boehner has been under pressure from the conservative wing of his party ever since he took the job in 2011. The news comes a day after an emotional Mr. Boehner, a Catholic, hosted Pope Francis at the U.S. Congress. The 65-year-old was expected to make a public announcement but he failed to appear and left the Capitol building through a back door. It's a wonderful day, was the only comment he made to reporters. He assumed the leadership position in January 2011, when Republicans took control of the House. However, since then he has faced down several rebellions. In a statement, one of his aides said, the Speaker believes putting members through prolonged leadership turmoil would do irreparable damage to the institution. The aide said the Speaker had planned to resign last year. Mr. Boehner becomes the first casualty in this new anti-establishment wave in the Republican Party. The challenge of managing the day-to-day -day operations of the House of Representatives while satisfying an increasingly unruly, and growing, faction of hardcore conservative backbenchers has finally brought him down. There once was a time when a speaker could bend the House of Representatives to his will by offering rewards and meeting out punishment for transgressions. Those days are long gone, as members of Congress now answer to outside constituencies and interests. The Speaker's resignation comes as Republicans have been deliberating over plans to defund women's health care provider Planned Parenthood. The organization has come under fire from anti-abortion activists who claimed its employees were selling fetal organs. Hardline conservatives have urged the leadership to stall a government funding bill a move that could see the U.S. government shut down next week for the second time in as many years, if language defunding the healthcare provider is not included. Rep. Kevin McCarthy, a top pick to replace Mr. Boehner, said in a written statement, it takes profound humility to step down from a position of power. Now is the time to focus on healing and unifying to face the challenges ahead, he added. The Speaker's Democratic counterpart pulled no punches in a morning news conference held after the announcement. Describing Mr. Boehner's resignation as seismic, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said, the disarray among House Republicans, their obsession with shutting down government at the expense of women's health needs to be reckoned with and recognized. On Thursday, Pope Francis became the first pontiff to address a joint session of Congress following an invitation from the Catholic House Speaker.